Hello, my name is Liam Call. This is the Leadership Interview Project. Um, for my interview, I decided to interview my old roommate. His name is Philip Massoud. Uh, Philip has been uh, in, in and out of the business world for quite some time. He worked for Uber um, during his freshman and sophomore year as a uh, senior project manager. Uh, he then took an internship at uh, Oracle as a, uh, as a uh, financial analyst. Um, and after his internship there, uh, he graduated with a business management uh, degree, and then they offered him a full-time job at Oracle, which is where he works uh, to this day. Uh, I still constantly use him as a mentor. I email him every now and then, uh, ask for advice, uh, talk about my major, things like that. He's been sort of a career coach uh, for me, and it's helped me along my way in tremendous ways. Um, so for... For my questions, first one I asked him was, what do you think defines leadership? And what he told me was that leadership is, it is how you handle crisis and opportunity. So when things are going really, really bad, what are you doing? Uh, when things are going really, really good, are you capitalizing on these opportunities? Things like that. Um, you know, at your very worst, what do you bring to the table? At your very best, what do you bring to the table? When things are going well and when things are going bad. Um, the next thing I asked him was, are managers always leaders? He said, yes, a manager is in a position of leadership. So technically he is a leader, but that doesn't necessarily mean that all managers are good leaders. Next, I asked him, what is the single best quality of a leader? He said, empathy. It's important to understand that those under you, um, need that need for you to understand what they are doing. You can't just give someone a job and then not know what you're expecting of them. You need to be clear with what you want because that's what you would want if you were in their position. Um, I asked him, how can you refine this quality? He said, you need to begin to understand the components that come into the entire project that you're trying to get done and know what each person is putting into. So you know what to expect from them and what they, they know that what you are expecting. <clears throat> Next I asked him, can anyone become a leader? He said, yes. He said, the most effective way to become a leader is through referent and legitimate power. With, leg with legitimate power becomes your right to be a manager because you are given that by a company. So those under you were also hired to be under you. But the referent power is how you come to get that legitimate power. People need to know that you're trustworthy, check your references, and that you are skilled and able to do this job. Next, I asked him, what's the best quality in a follower? So not necessarily a leader. And he just said effort. Uh, effort and communication. You need to be constantly communicating with those above you. And you need to be trying your hardest. Because it's understandable if you don't know how to do something. But it's not understandable if you don't know how to do it because you haven't even tried to learn. Or even, be, even begun to participate. And it's important to have communication because as a leader, uh, you need to know that everyone under you is clear and knows what knows what to do. And I believe that, you know, as a follower, you need to be clear and constantly communicating. I know it's very frustrating. Uh, he even said that it's very frustrating when he's unable to get in contact with certain people that he's uh, working with. Uh, next, I asked him, how can followers improve and become leaders? And he just said hard work. You know, um, you may not always get that opportunity, but without that hard work, even if the opportunity comes, you won't be able to capitalize it because you won't be in the game. Next, he asked, I asked him, what is a bad quality in a follower? And he just said laziness and lack of communication. Um, it's one thing to be lazy and tell, tell your, your manager that you're unable to do something or you don't want to do it, but it's a whole other thing to just not even tell them. Um, if you're a manager and you give you give a project out to a bunch of people and they never tell you and you just uh, and they don't tell you what they're up to and they just assume that you're that he'll just assume that you're doing it uh, and then you know come the day something you need you know results anything you know it's important to communicate that because it's you know it's one thing to just not want to do something but to not to make someone think that you are doing it he said that that's one of the worst things you can do as a follower because if you you are if you are unwilling to do it. They can get someone that will do it. You just need to communicate that. And what the last question I asked him is, what is your best quality as a leader? And he said simply, simply that it's uh, my ability to relate relate to those that are uh, those that are under me. Uh, Philip came uh, didn't start out as a project manager. He worked his way up. He worked really hard. He worked forty hours a week during his uh, um, during school. 
uh, worked, uh, I mean, 40 hours a week during school. And, you know, uh, during that, you know, he felt what it was like to be, to be under, because he was under the position he eventually got. And he just worked hard. Um, and he said he understood. It, he, and when he became the project manager, that came under those that were under him because he had that job at one point and he could step in and uh, uh, and complete those jobs as uh, as they needed or show them how to do it. And I think that's, I agree with that, uh, that one of the best things you can do is lead by example. You know, if you can do everything that, you know, is asked of you and you can do everything that's asked of others and can show them how to do it, then they'll look up to you for that guidance. Um, this was a very interesting interview. Uh, Philip Masood taught me a whole lot. Uh, we also did a little catching up, um, but that's a little, I mean, that was personal catch up. Uh, it probably wouldn't be that interesting to you. But other than that, I hope, I hope you guys enjoyed what I learned. Um, and I hope you guys can apply it to your later, uh, your later lessons here um, in this class. Thank you.